Hello YouTube, this is Bruno. I'm standing here in my wither skeleton farm and we updated our server to 120.4 which required a few changes that I want to go over with you. Now if you haven't seen it, it's a one-dimensional wither skeleton farm. If you can't use portals, for example because you play on a server and the wither skeletons would despawn in the overworld or as in our case you have a world border and there's no suitable location for a wither skelly farm in a soul sand biome within the world border because of course if you use portals also the overworld part has to be within the world border then you'll need a one-dimensional wither skeleton farm and this is a very simple one it's a scaled down version of Stromness Whiskey Train where the player stands in the killing chamber activates a minecart transport system the minecarts pick up the wither skellies they are damaged a bit so they can be one shot and then the player just kills them here. The rates are pretty good, almost 500 skulls per hour along with 16,000 coal and over 20,000 bones. I'll link the video that I did on this farm in the description of course. 120.4 brought a few changes. There were actually three changes I made to the farm. Now the player can stand here behind this trapdoor and hit the wither skeletons without an armor stand. And this is helpful on the server because you know that an armor stand can break if the server encounters lag. So cutting out the armor stand makes this farm much more reliable. And I didn't run into any issues here. So just remove the armor stand and aim in this gap like so. And you're good. The second change is that I put in an auto crafter because we use the experimental data pack that gives the new 121 features like the auto crafter and the copper blocks. And we'll look at that in a moment. But the most important change, and this is the change that you'll have to make if you build my farm, is that you need a bit more room where you drop off the wither skeletons here. So this is how it looked in the older version. But after upgrading to 120.4, you see that sometimes a wither skeleton is dropped off at the hopper here and gets in the way. And this, of course, will break the whole minecart system. So this is the new version. And we have two activator rails instead of one. And we make sure that this is the only legal spot where mobs can be dropped off for both activator rails. So I moved this whole part collecting the minecarts just a couple of blocks back so that I have more room here. And now again all of the wither skeletons are dropped off here as they should. Now this is a change that you can do basically in a minute. Just add an activator rail and move this part back two blocks. And here's the auto crafter setup. Now, I mainly designed it because I was lazy and I didn't want to rebuild the shulker box loaders. Now first we have a normal filter for the skulls. Then we have three filters for the bones. And then three filters for the coal. And the coal side is really easy. Because basically you can't craft coal to anything else than blocks. And you can just use a comparator. Compare it to signal strength 9 read from this crafter here with all blocks locked. So here we will have a signal if this crafter gives a redstone strength of nine and this will power this ice block here and it will cause the crafter to craft. And this is really fast because this is only two ticks delay. The bone part is a bit more complicated because we have three hoppers supplying bones and each bone must be crafted up to bone meal. So we have three slices and each slice needs one auto crafter to craft the bones to bone meal and then because the sum would be nine times hopper speed we just use three more auto crafters to craft the bone meal to bones and the setup is this the filter goes directly into an auto crafter and the auto crafter is just powered by a clock that works at hopper speed and is activated by the player standing on a pressure plate that activates the farm so this is this auto crafter we have a seventh auto crafter where we need a one by tileable setup to craft the bone meal to bone blocks. And this is what you see here. We read the auto crafter through this block and the signal ends up here. And from the other side, we get the signal of strength eight by using auto crafter with eight locked slots. And if this auto crafter is full, then the signal will go to nine. The observer here registers the change. This observer registers the change, changes the state of this copper bulb, which we use as a flip flop here. And if the copper bulb is enabled, we read the signal here and power the block over the crafter. 
So this block here is only powered if the crafter contains 9 items. And this setup is not the fastest, but we have 24 game ticks or 1.2 seconds to process the bone meal. And of course, even though this takes something like 10 game ticks, this is fast enough to handle this. And then the items are just sent into a dropper. And then all of the bone blocks go into this dropper here and then into a shulker box loader. So now the farm produces about one shulker box of coal blocks and about 4.2 shulker boxes of bone blocks per hour, along with the skulls, of course. So now you know how you can adapt my farm to 120.4. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more content like this. Please subscribe. We want to grow the channel a bit. And see you next time. Bye bye.